Hey everyone, sorry, it's 2003, and I thought I'd just uh, give you a quick little showing of what I'm doing uh, this month. Um, first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry for the lack of uh, any siren videos. Um, I've just been pretty busy with uh, working and, you know, not not being able to do stuff. Anyways, I just want to show you the progress I'm making on the... the uh, Canadian Model 2, or now that we know what the actual model number is, the 2-3Z. Here's some of the parts. I'm just cleaning up for the rest. Um, I'm not doing a full restore yet. I'm just uh, cleaning it up. Uh, the other half is here. Um, as you can see, I just have it sitting on the sitting on the floor there. No cone or legs. Um, Everything's working. I'm just uh, cleaning up the cone, the actual like mounting cone that holds it upside down here. As you can see, I've uh, cleaned it off there. Um, and the legs as well, they were rusty. Um, and here's the uh, hardware. As you can see, they're also rusty, so I'll replace that. That's just the electrical box cover for the where the this ridiculous 8-gauge wire was put in. The, I find the 8 gauge wire was kind of ridiculous for because uh, of how large that is. The Sirens motor has 14 gauge wires coming out, which uh, can go up to 15 amps. That's the max, but the you're supposed to go 80% of the wires, so that's 12 amps for 14 gauge. I would The max I would have went up to was a 10 gauge wire, but, you know, I guess they decided to... Uh, spend a little more money and go get 8 gauge, which is a little too much, you know, it's not needed that much. Anyway, I thought I'd just update everyone here, show what's going on, um, the two here is working, um, I can give a demonstration, I just need to back up the thing a little bit, somehow. go I think okay I think I got it let's move the WD-40 out of the way you can see it now I think yep you can see it so I can give it a growl here for you it just goes here here and here Kind of tricky when the wires are huge and you're maybe stripping a bit. Let's see here. As you can see, it works fine. If you can see that, um, that's the junction box of those 14 gauge wires. Now that I know what the wire size that they used for this, I mean I could have used 14 instead of trying to fit on 12 gauge wire onto the old stator for the Federal Enterprises Model 2 that I tried to fix. Um, <clears throat> now that I know, I could have used that at that time, but... Oh, you learn from this kind of stuff, so as you can see, it's just sitting there. So, had a little tough time getting the tube off of it, so I just WD 40 around it and just uh, took a little bit of a screwdriver there, a long one, and then I just tapped with a hammer to push the tube off um, all, all the way around. Just uh, turn and turn and then hammer a little bit until that tube came off. As you can see here, it's a lip. Right there, it's a lip to, you know, put it on. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, uh, just to let everyone know, I am going to Siren Con again this year. Um, so I hope to see some of you there. I'm excited and uh, getting the Canadian 2 ready. And I'm also bringing down the 2v8 as well. 
if I can fit it, I think, hopefully. Anyways, you can see here the housing. I was working on cleaning up the rust spots on the very top half. I might just give a paint touch up there and uh, try to make it look blended as much as I can into the housing. So it looks about original paint as much as possible. Anyways, uh, that's all for this little update. Um, but yeah. Till next time.